We're here at the Houses of Parliament in London for Canon's 2017 annual parliamentary reception. This event is all about gathering together groups of people from both the public and the private sector to network, to discuss the matters that are affecting every business, whether private or public, and to try and introduce some of Canon's technologies for the future. The theme of this year's parliamentary reception is the journey of a lifetime. And this is really a reflection of how every citizen, no matter what stage of life we are all at, we will interact with digital services from both public and private sector. And understanding how we can make that work more effectively for citizens is what the journey of a lifetime is all about. We've got eight stations around the room highlighting different parts of Canon technology and how it interacts with the citizen. So for example, Canon has a number of propositions that tackles the issues of cyber security. So we have our European specialists on cyber security here to talk to our customers about that. We've got two fantastic speakers at our event today. The first one is Matt Warman, MP. Matt is the Permanent Private Secretary to the Secretary of State for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport. There's been this continued sort of uh, high, uh, extraordinary con uh, pace of change in whether it's AI, whether it's, whether it's the sort of generalised digital agenda. And so it's becoming harder and harder for people to say, well, actually, that, that driverless car isn't coming in any time in the next 20 years or, or, um, or AI is not going to affect my business in any time in the next 20 years. And our second speaker is Nick Pickles. Nick is the head of policy for Twitter UK and Israel. Now this year some of you may have seen uh, MetCC, which is a brand new Twitter account for the Met's contact centre. And they had a hypothesis of can we switch people from using the 101 phone number to a Twitter direct message. And they had witnesses to very, very serious crimes go, I'd feel uncomfortable walking into a police station on ringing 999, but because I use social media every day, I feel okay telling you over a direct message what I've seen. That's kind of transforming the customer experience, and it's happening at the, the, the hoon end of older citizens, and at the much younger end of people, 15-year-olds you know, talking to them now. Great location, it's a, it's a fantastic venue. The, uh, the speakers were very, very interesting and very engaging, and, and nice to hear, and, and, and good to hear that the government is in, in the same digital mindset as, uh, as where we're heading, so it's, uh, the backing of them is, is good to understand. Networking is always, you know, we've learned quite a lot through um, being part of various networks, obviously going to all the Canon sort of events, but also the Association for Print Managers and Education as well has been really great, so we're sort of yeah. getting on board with that. Also, it's, um, it's, it's nice to be able to go back to your university and show them what you've been involved in and what you've been invited to as well. I feel really excited about the prospects for our business here in the UK and it's great to get positive feedback from our customers about the great job our staff do here at Canon. I'm absolutely delighted with the way the event's gone today. We had the right number of people in the room, we were talking about the right subjects. I simply couldn't be more delighted and I'm obviously looking forward very much to welcoming everybody back again next year.